In this video, I'll show you how to change the ship to a different address text on your WooCommerce checkout page in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our checkout page and I'll show you exactly how you can go ahead and change this particular text here where it says ship to a different address and also how to enable the shipping fields by default. So I'm going to show you how to achieve all this without touching a single line of code or paying a penny for this change as well. So the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin for WooCommerce. It's free. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. I'll leave the link in the description to this plugin. Okay, so let's head back over to our dashboard. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the all-in-one checkout plugin, you wanna go ahead and upload this plugin. So you'd go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the file in which you just downloaded. So assuming you've uploaded the plugin successfully, you'll see this AIO checkout menu here for all-in-one checkout. Go ahead and click on it. Okay, so now the third step in your case is you'll wanna go ahead and create a new checkout layout. So you'll just click create new checkout. Okay, since I've already created one, I'm just gonna go ahead and edit one, which I've already created. So I'm gonna edit this checkout here. So I'll just click edit, or I can just click on the checkout new. So to change the ship to a different address text, you wanna navigate down to the shipping details section here. Go ahead and click on this settings icon here. And now you'll see we've got a few options here. So one, we can change the section heading, okay? And two, we wanna go ahead and change this ship to a different address text. So we can say, um, so you, now you can change it to whatever you like. In my case, I'm just gonna say um, enter shipping address, for example, right? Okay, so I'm gonna change, so I'm gonna go ahead and save changes, but we're not quite finished. Um, with all the changes yet. So I just wanna quickly show you how to update this text if that's all you wanted to do. So now let's go ahead and refresh our checkout page. Okay, and now you can see it says enter your address. Okay, so what if we just wanted to show um, the shipping address by default? Maybe we wanna disable the billing address. So it's super simple. So let's head back over to our dashboard and we'll navigate down to where it says shipping details here. Again, I'm gonna click on the settings icon and then I'm gonna go ahead and enable this option where it says expand the shipping um, section by default. Once again, I'm gonna go ahead and save changes and let's check the changes on the front end. Okay, and now let's view our checkout page once again. Okay, and here you can see it's displaying our shipping details by default. Let's say you wanted to disable this billing section and only show this shipping section, it's super easy. So again, we'll head back over to our dashboard here so I wanna keep our email address and our phone number field. You can create a new section. Um, to create a new section, you'll just click add new section here. But I'm gonna actually just go ahead and move it down to our shipping section. So let's drag and drop this email field right there. And we'll do the same for our phone field as well. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and disable this entire billings detail section. So we just click on this um, eye icon and let's go ahead and save changes. Okay, so now when we refresh our checkout page, okay, as you can see, there's no billing section. So all we've got is our shipping details. So the user needs to enter in their email address, enter in their phone number, first and last name, and then their shipping information. So it just streamline the checkout process for your users. If you wanted to customize it further, you can do so. You can add um, custom fields. Just click on this um, settings icons here. Go ahead and drag and drop um, the specific fields in which you want. You can go ahead and edit it, rename the label, add a placeholder text, choose um, where to enter in this custom field. So whether you wanna show it in a thank you page, the account page, the order page, in the back end for admin. So you can do so much more with this particular plugin. You can change your single page um, checkout into a multi-step checkout by adding a new field here and you can add as many fields as you like. If you wanted to move this billing section to, let's enable it, let's say you wanted to move it to step two, you just go ahead and drag and drop it into step two. And as you can see, billing sections there. And if we ch save changes, we'll have our multi-step checkout. So I've created a different video showing you exactly how to set up a multi-step checkout. I'm just showing you that you can do so much more with this particular plugin to further customize the checkout experience for your customers. 
And as you change the ship to a different address text in your WooCommerce checkout page without touching a single line of code in a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.